the Department of National Defence DND, has raised the requirement for new combat engineering vehicles CEV for the Philippine Army. As part of plans of improving the service's combat engineering capabilities, under the Combat Engineering Equipment Lot 5, Combat Engineer Vehicle Acquisition Project, which is part of the horizon to phase of the revised AFP modernization program. It aims to procure at least three combat engineer vehicles to support armoured and mechanised combat units in providing mine and obstacle clearing and other engineering functions as an engineering hub for transport of combat engineers into combat and even provide fire support due to it being armed. The combat engineering vehicle was one of the equipment that was found to be needed by the Philippine Army based on experiences it had before and during the Battle of Marawi in 2017, but it was not very evident until when armoured vehicles were used extensively in combat, but encountered difficulty due to obstacles that hinder their movement, originally proposed to be awarded to China's Poly Technologies, under G2G agreement between PHDND and PRCMND. Proposal was said to be poorly supported within Philippine Army. Project moved to public bidding, with ITB released September 2022. Second bid attempt was republished on the 21st of September 2022, with SOAP scheduled on the 14th of October 2022 and pushed back to the 26th of October 2022. Tender appears to have failed, as the another bid attempt was republished on the 12th of November 2022 with new SOAP scheduled on 05. December 2022. Second bidding attempt was declared failure as of the 6th of February 2023. Third bidding attempt opened on the 9th of August 2023, with SOBE scheduled on the 1st of September 2023. The Philippine Army is also expected to have some VTOL UAVs that will be equipped with magnetometer system to assist in mine and IED detection. These would be acquired together with new tracked armored combat engineering vehicles which will be providing combat engineering assistance to regular combat units. It remains to be seen if the UAVs to be supplied. Will be commercial models considering the specs did not provide details. That would stop the selection of such models. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.